as I'm traveling through Mississippi, I saw a sign that just caused me to make a right turn and go check it out. It's about 6.30 in the morning and I figured I just had to check this out. I am near Magnolia, Mississippi. On October the 20th, 26 people, including the members of the famous Southern rock band Leonard Skinner, boarded a Convair 240 twin engine airplane in Greenville, South Carolina to head to a concert in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. The band was from the Jacksonville, Florida area and took their name Leonard Skinner from a former gym coach that once banned three of the members for not cutting their hair. Their first album went silver, gold, and platinum. Some of the songs known for Sweet Home Alabama, That Smell, Give Me Three Steps, and the most famous of all, Free Bird. With the opening lyrics, if I leave here tomorrow, would you still remember me? The 1948 Convair 240 was a plane that had had problems. In fact, the rock band Aerosmith had declined to even use it. Prior to the flight, one of the singers, Cassie Gaines, admitted she didn't really feel comfortable flying, but the leader of the band, Ronnie Van Sant, said if it's your time to go, it's your time to go, and talked everyone into taking that flight. The plane left Greenville, South Carolina around 4.02 p.m. and at approximately 6.45 p.m. McCary, the pilot, called the tower and said he had about five hours of fuel. Two and a half hours later, the pilot radioed the tower in Houston, Texas, and said that they were just about out of fuel. The Houston Control Tower granted them permission to land at Macomb Airport in Mississippi that was just a short distance away. However, the plane ran completely out of fuel and never made it. Somewhere in Georgia, over the forest, it clipped the pine trees and crashed. Of the 26 passengers, six didn't make it. Ronnie Van Zant, the lead singer, assistant road manager Dean Kilpatrick, the pilot Walter McCary, co-pilot William Gray. Also killed in the plane crash was lead guitarist Steve Gaines and his sister, who was a backup vocalist, Cassie Gaines. On October the 22nd, 2019, 42 years to the day, this monument was erected near Gillsburg, Mississippi, approximately 400 yards from the actual craft site, which was in the swamp. $65,000 was raised by fans to build the 14 foot wide by eight foot high monument including six steps leading up to the monument in memorial to the six people that lost their lives in the crash. <clears throat> in this early hour in the morning, in this desolate area, Looking up in the trees, you can almost feel the plane overhead. Well, I hope you have enjoyed our visit to the crash site of, in my opinion, the greatest band that 
ever was, Leonard Skinner. Thank you for joining me, and y'all have a good day.